the hustling inside of you is for positive things, man. And I just thank God for giving that to me. Let me see the things that I've seen. Let me experience the things that I experienced in my past, positive and negative, and allow me to be able to express it through Forever Young. Express living life. Express struggle. Express, you know what I mean, being an individual. Express just being you. I wouldn't necessarily call where I'm from the slums, but I definitely call where I'm from, you know, it's very, it was very hard, you know, regardless of what's seen on the outside, it was very hard. Um, I grew up in Oatleaf Park, uh, I think I moved out there when I was about four years old. When I moved out there, everything was fine, however, drugs was very, very prevalent um, when I was a young man. Very prevalent. You know, the cars, the whips, flashy clothes, flashy money. Everything I seen when I was younger was all based around drugs. People, you know, just grinding to do it. Like, that's all they knew. You know what I mean? And it, it really, it really affected my mentality when I was younger because it took me a long time to really understand who I was just because all I seen was what I seen. So therefore, that started developing inside of me. So I thought I was gonna be a hustler. I had one of the biggest guys around here. My uncle was one of the biggest campaigns around here. No names need to be said, you know, but that's all I knew. So the older I got, the more experience that I received, I understand that wasn't the way to go for me. Um, but drugs definitely had a big hold on my life. Uh, it kind of, well, it kind of isn't the word. My mom struggled with that for a major part of my life. And to be honest, off and on at this time, it's one of the hardest subjects in my life. One of the more things that I never talk about. One of the things that has molded me and kind of gave me like a kind of hard heart in a sense is my mom. My mom struggled with drugs for like one of the, basically my whole life. I've seen some of the worst things possible. I really don't have a relationship with my mom. I honestly don't understand how on how to treat a woman, but uh, thanks to God, I understand that. But um, yeah, drugs basically really had a hold on my childhood from the age of about seven to about 13, and then from about 15 up until this current time. story as far as my mama goes, I believe one time, I believe I was about eight years old, and uh, I was about eight years old, and my mom was like strung out, and at one point, we had a lot, you know what I mean, we had a lot of things materially, we had a great relationship with my mom, and, like she was my heart, my heart and soul. Deep down inside right now, she still is. And at that time, I didn't really understand like how serious it was um, until it came to a time when I had no money, nothing to sell, nothing to do, you know, to the point where she went to the queen of our neighborhood, basically the queen pen of our neighborhood, and commenced to sell me. Every time I tell this story, man, I try not to cry. But uh, she commenced to sell me. And I really thank the female that was dealing drugs in the neighborhood for accepting me. Because she, when my mom was trying to sell me, she was trying to sell me to anybody. She happened to go to her first. And you still alive this day, and I see you. And I thank you because I don't know what would have happened to me if you didn't take me in at that time. 
And the lady told me that the only reason she accepted is because she didn't want my mama taking me to anybody. She could have sold me to the worst guy in the neighborhood or the worst guy in the other neighborhood. So she took me. So she held me for about three weeks. And after that three weeks, my mom had me to rehab and things like that. And then she got off drugs and then she gave her, she gave me back to my mom. So, but at that point, I really didn't understand it. But when I turned about 11, the lady came back to me and really told me. And it really damaged me. But obviously, I'm a mama, I was a mama's boy, so I went back to my mom, you know, and lived with her and stuff like that. But um, it was just real hard, man. I come from nothing. That's why I love to do what I do and give back and try to inspire people that's been through the same things, or if not worse. You know what I mean? Because regardless of the perception of, oh, life is perfect, oh, so I read you ain't been through nothing, everything good. Been through hell, man. I've been through hell. So that's how I stay. Regardless of what it may seem like, I really stay humble inside because I know what I've been through. If you're at a point where you have a lot and you was given a lot, appreciate that. Because a lot of people when they have it, they had to start from zero. Or, you know what I mean? Or borrow this from pay Peter to pay Paul. I've asked, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna front. I had friends that, you know, I asked to borrow money from when I fell off. I'm a real nigga. I did. Whether it happened or not, that don't got nothing to do with the camera. But, um, you know, friends come and go. But you ain't never going nowhere. So, that song Drake made, No New Friends, it's true. But at the end of the day, you need to be your only friend. You need to be your best friend. You understand who you are. Be you. It's the real me. I feel like sometimes experience teaches you things nothing or no one else can ever show you. It can make you appreciate every single thing that you have down to just breathing. You know what I mean? Because I could have been dead when I was younger. How my mom was. How she, you know, how things were when I was younger. It hurts me to this day, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it shows me what I want my child to have, you know what I mean? What, you know, I can, I can actually speak to people that been through abuse, mental abuse, you know what I mean? I can speak to you and let you know that no weapon formed against you shall ever prosper. I can let you know no matter what you go through in your life, you can live your dreams out. Everybody not a rapper, everybody not a ball player, but at the end of the day, you got a dream, you got ambition, and you believe in yourself. You can do whatever you want to do. You can turn that into millions just by living out your dream. I love enjoying life because I feel like that's what God put us here to do. I feel like that's what he died for us to do, to enjoy life. But at the same time, I am a sinner. I am a sinner. It's probably going to sin again. Oh, forgive me. Anyway, back to what I was saying. The real me is that, but at the same time, I love family. Um, I love things that I never had. Like, I just want to be able to give my son a full-fledged family. Um, I love spending time with my grandparents. I'm, a, I'm big on family. Know, because I always had family. I always ain't had my parents, but I always had family. Don't get me wrong, like my mom loved me to death, man. She loved me to death and I know she feel like and wish our relationship and won't how it isn't how it is. But mentally, I know you only got one mom and I love my mom to death, but I really struggle with actually dealing with her as a person. I really I really struggle with that. It's something that I gotta work on. I don't know if I ever be able to really prepare my relationship with my mom. You know, I hope one day I do. I will. I will, man. I got faith because I really want to. It's 
just deep, 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 deep scars, you know. But I feel like that. The pain that I experienced and the rough life that I had with her fuels my passion for what I love to do, which is Fabian. You know. So, one of you out there listening, I love you. I know we're going to talk a lot. Gotta bring us back together.